We've made progress in British Columbia managing COVID-19 because we work together to flatten the curve. Healthcare workers, construction workers, grocery clerks, childcare operators, and others went to work every day to be there for British Columbians. Throughout this pandemic, hundreds of you, teachers, educational assistants, support staff, administrators, were in your schools and classrooms, supporting children of essential workers and those children in need. Many more have been delivering education online in new and innovative ways. But we also know the limitations of online learning, particularly for younger children. The time has come to open up our schools and classrooms, carefully and thoughtfully, and to find the right balance to finish off this school year. As we move ahead over the next four weeks and into the summer, British Columbians are counting on you to be there for our children, to continue to provide them with the foundational knowledge and skills they need. The last three months have been difficult. We have stepped up and taken our public health direction seriously and our low case numbers in BC demonstrate our success in managing our pandemic. And we in public health have done our job in controlling outbreak and clusters and supporting persons with COVID-19 and their families to stay well and where possible stay at home. And your school health officers, your public health nurses, your healthy school coordinators are not going anywhere. We will be there with you, as will BC CDC and my office, as we weather the next three months together. That is why it's safe to take these next steps to reopen our schools and see what a new normal looks like. We know that COVID-19 has a very low infection rate in children and that children have milder symptoms. We also know transmission in children and between adults mostly occurs in the household not in childcare centers, not in schools, and not in playgrounds. And we are still going to be extra cautious. We need to stay diligent, and that's why we are looking at a measured, gradual approach to transitioning more students back into the classroom in the coming weeks. Starting voluntary in-classroom instruction now is a cautious approach that ensures teachers and other education staff will have the tools and experience to prepare for a larger return in the fall, and also to support our children and families who need it. The Ministry of Education is working closely with school boards, independent school authorities, to ensure the strict implementation of the health and safety measures we need. Some of the health and safety measures include limiting the number of students in the school, avoiding groups or gatherings of students in hallways and common areas, and taking students outside more often. Regular cleaning of high contact surfaces like doorknobs and toilet seats and keyboards and desks at least twice a day and cleaning the school building at least once a day. Students, educators and staff will be required to clean their hands before entering school property and there will be more hand sanitizing and cleaning stations available in all schools. Staff and students will be screened daily and anyone with symptoms will stay at home. You are the experts in your field. You know how to deliver education in new and inventive ways and in all sorts of environments. And you deliver the best education possible under many complex circumstances. I understand some of you are concerned about underlying medical con conditions, about having a compromised immune system or being older. But please be assured that if any of these apply to you or if you live with somebody with any of these conditions, Schools are still a safe space to be with the extra precautions we have put in place. I have confidence in all of you as you work for the next few weeks together and prepare for the fall. With all the additional challenges you face today, remember, this is not forever, but it is what we need to do now. Thank you for doing your part with kindness and with care.